Hello again, I'm back, Lutra FM, for another episode of the So Show You Can Only Say, um, where you left us off last. We tried out a new tactic that worked quite well. I think we only lost one game the whole episode, and that was probably because we had a left back bastion sent off after 10 minutes, so it made it literally impossible for us to sort of get anything out of that game. But other than that, pretty good. Um, oh, sorry, we did lose, actually, sorry, in the French Cup on penalties, but we didn't lose in normal time. Um, but mostly a pretty positive episode last episode. We've managed to get out of the relegation zone. I think we're like 13th now or something like that. Um, but we're in the end, coming towards the end of January. Um, so we've got the transfer window left. Um, and then hopefully we can push on and try and get towards the playoffs. I don't think we'll make the playoffs, even if we go on a great winning streak. I think we're just it's just going to be too hard for us to get into the playoffs this year. So, but we'll try our best and then we'll assess it so that maybe the new tactic will work well next season and we'll just get up straight away and that'll be the season that we go up. But we'll see. Anything can happen. We might even get in the playoffs. You just don't know. So, um, yeah, but I'll be back in a sec with the first game of the episode. Right, so we are, we've got our first game of the episode against Bastia. But I thought I'd just, like I said, do a little bit of a recap first. So we're currently 14. Um, I thought we were a little bit higher than that, but I think other teams have won their game to catch up with us. So we're four points clear of the relegation zone, but we shouldn't be anywhere near here. We should be here towards where towards the playoffs. Um, so we've got to try and go on a bit of a winning streak now and get up as high as possible. We are going to come and stop though because we've had. Um, oh, I mean, ignore this one because Denver's not very good, so we just don't need to worry about that. But we've had a very a ridiculously good offer for Gil that we just can turn out, especially because he's already asked to leave ages ago. So if I refuse this offer, he'd have just kicked off. But FC Mets have come in with an offer of um, 5 million up front, 4.7 over two um, 12 monthly periods, and then 400k after 20 games played, and then 40% profit on the net sale, which is really good um, because. He does really well, FC Mets, um, who also have a good history of having some really good players over the years, like Sado Mani and people like that. Hopefully that will work out well for us. I mean, you look at the clauses here. I haven't cashed any of them out, I don't think. Uh, I can cash this one out, though. It's not really going to make any difference. But this one in particular, if Bunza does well, which I don't think he's played that much. He's played a couple of games off the bench. Most play for the reserves, but he's doing really well. Nine goals and ten assists for their reserves. He should be playing more for the first team. He is out. He is available on loan. Obviously, um, this is a youth only save, so I can't bring back old players from um, you know from previous. I can't loan in previous youth players. Basically, I can't get the word out. Sorry. Anyway, right. Let's crack on with the first game. Uh, Gil is still injured because he's injured for a couple of weeks, so he might not end up playing a game for us. He might end up going to, he probably will end up going to FC Mets unless he rejects the offer. Good little goal by Kofi, one minute played, already scored. Um, but yeah, this is the thing with these players. We can't get too attached to some of them because they're on to bigger and better things. This is the whole point of the save is to not, is to basically create superstars and then let them go. To bigger clubs and then we've still got to try and um, replace them with our youth prospects and things like that uh, we'll see how it goes from there we've had we had a lot of offers for Paisley but I've, re I've rejected them all because I don't want him to go on one oh no maybe not I don't want um, Paisley to go yet I feel like we've got we should have him for at least another year or two and, and then we can try and maximize um, his potential value and hopefully make more money on him. Obviously, if we do get a very good offer we can't turn down, we've just got to get on with it and sell him. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, is this going to be disallowed as well? This will be hilarious if this gets disallowed again. Come on, ref. Come on. You know you want to disallow it. Come on, for the banter. Ah. Oh. Right, let's try and demand a bit more. Throwing to us. Got two of our defenders on yellow cards already, which is quite concerning. Ooh, good defensive header by them. Yeah, Diagni is not playing well at all. 
I might take him off at half time. Then again, who have I got that can run? Mason. Um, oh, Mustafi. Uh, Pinto. Actually, I've got quite a few options, so that's not too bad. Let's see if we can turn it around. I don't really like to take players off this early into a game, but when they've got like a 6.2 rate in it, it does worry me that they're going to end up um, us, we're going to end up conceding the goal because of their mistake. Did up with the ball now. Lo uh, Trophy loses it. I think it's a Trophy. Paisley with the ball now. Playing it out from defence. Keeps on running. Wants to have a go on the wing by the looks of it. No. Changes his mind. Panics, I think. I think he realised how far forward he went. What a ball. What a ball. Uh, I think he was onside. I, I think. The way it got played, but I could be wrong. No, it's all right. I'm right. When I'm right, I'm right. There you go. Right, 2 1. We've got a corner. You don't. Get in. Go on, Bastian. Game over now, as far as I'm concerned. 3 1. Still think I should take off the Agni at half time. Not really improved, even though we are winning 3 1. This could be a goal here. Oh, no, maybe not. Was that the Agni that did that one? Might have been. They're going to get another goal for half time. Oof, what a goal! That was a great goal. Fair play. Right, three two. Yeah, Japanese coming off. Um right, so let's if it lets me, with the mouse pad. Um so yeah, we'll take him off him. Galvez can come off. Galvez might be leaving by the way, he's kicking off because he's not playing in his favourite role. Um, so he's he's off. He's only three stars. A potential three star ability at the moment, so I think in the long run he's just not good enough for us. I think we'll end up playing Pinto in his place. Right, so that's subs on. Does anybody else need to be taken off because they're not playing particularly well? Two midfielders here not playing particularly well. Thierry, and he's on a yellow card as well. So, take you off, what do you want, there you go, Silver gets a rare appearance. This is what Southgate should have done and not end the game last night. There's going to be a lot of pressure on him to change it up for the next game and put other players in because the player's performance yesterday was so bad, he was so lucky to win that game. I felt sorry for Slovakia by the end of it because I felt that they deserved to win. Not that I wanted them to win as an Englishman, but... Right, Mustafi. Gives it to Didot. Let's get another goal. Let's kill this game off. Pinto. What a ball. That was a beautiful pass to Kofi. No VAR to worry about either. How many goals has Kofi got now? I'll find out in a minute. That was a terrible miss. He should have done better than that. All right, pause that so it doesn't happen again. All right, so Kofi's got 12 goals in 19 games so far, which isn't too bad. He's, he's 25 now. So he's probably hitting his peak years coming up. Hopefully we can keep him for the rest of his career. But it literally will take a big offer, I mean a big offer, to sell him. Because I feel like he is our main man. And no matter who comes and goes, I want Kofi to be the, the, the constant. I want him to be the player that, that's there from the start and at the end as well, if possible. But we'll see. I want him to break all the goal-scoring records as well. Good tackle. Yeah, 
XD 3.94, which is correct near enough. Let's see if we can take fast enough. Anybody? Yeah. Him with the ball might be his last contribution of the game. It is. Didn't lead to anything. All right, let's just end this game now. Langace with the throwing gives it to Kutu, gives it back to Langace. Silva now. Go on, have a go, Rafi. Oh, no, gives it to Pinto. Pinto loses it. Oh, that was a poor challenge. He didn't have to do that. Penalty awarded. Come on then, Kofi. Let's see what you got. Yes. I think that's his hat trick. 13th goal of the season. Yeah. I think that's his hat trick. Great performance by him. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Two goals for him. No. One, two, three. Yeah. Sorry, hat trick. I apologize. Let's see if he'll wave it. Probably didn't want to wave it. I mean, it never worked. It, it, they never agreed to wave it, do they? Let's be honest. Right, when's the next day? 14 days. Right, see you in a sec. Right, we're back. And um, we do have some news. We've told a couple of players. Um, let me just move across here. Oh, stupid mouse. There we go. Right, so Galvez is gone. He went to, for 1 million to Khan. We've managed to get 25% profit on the next deal, but. Like the likelihood he's not really going to improve enough to make any money on him. I'll probably just pass that one out. And then obviously the big one, Alexis Gill has moved to FC Mets. Um, his value is already 20 million to 23 million. So actually, if we if he was sold now, we'd get 40% of the profit. So let's say he goes to 20 million, we get 40% of the 10 million profit. So not a bad deal at all. Um, we'd get probably like four million extra or something like that. Um, we've managed to make fourteen million, seven, uh, nearly fifteen million basically. If we go across here, we've made nearly seven million the season before, one million before that, three million before that, five hundred k before that. So we're making progressively more in player sales. Uh, we've managed to get back into a positive bank balance, but obviously it won't last forever because we are. Projected to lose 11 million this year, so we'll be minus 4.72 million by the end of it. Um, I don't think we've got anybody else that we're going to make any money on unless it's let's have a look. But we've got players that we can sell, we're not going to sell them basically because um, we're not going to sell Kofi. So that might be the next one that goes if we get a decent offer for him. Um, I don't know why Paisley's available for loan because he's a first team player at the moment. so. Um, I think that was done automatically by the assistant manager or something, but we got rid of him, took him off. But yeah, so we've got Labatt, maybe Paisley eventually, but not yet. He's now 19. Vaz, maybe. Um, but Vaz, I don't think Vaz is going to progress that much. He's not really playing enough. Abdu might be a good one eventually. He's playing really well. Uh, Lafont, Pinto might be another one. Rising star. We've got a very small squad there, haven't we? Um, I think what I'm going to have to do for now is pull up all of these, because even with all of these, we're still going to have a small squad. Let's have a look now. How many players have we got? Let's have a look. This is how I do it if it lets me. No. 27. So we've only got 27 players, even with over the three squads. I think we've got like a lot of players out on loan. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we're playing VAFC next, uh, Valencians, or however you pronounce them. Pinto has took over Galvez's position as a right-back, so hopefully he'll be our main right-back now. Um, we've got Labat in midfield in place of Gil. Uh, I think probably I think the likely lineup in midfield will probably be Ab, um, Abdu and Thierry. But yeah, so we've got um, Labat, and then we've got Lafont, um, Alexander, Langais on the wing, and Kofi up front. So let's see how we're getting on. Labat and Langais are lacking match fitness. Oh, we're not taking it already. No. Uh, 
proper one. There you go. So at the moment we're currently 10th. So we're getting closer to the playoffs. If we win this one, that will help as well. If we just go on like a bit of a winning streak, give us at least give us a chance of getting in the playoffs. Um, even if we get the same, even if we do the same as we did last season, where we just got in the playoffs. Oh, this, that's not going to help though. Um, I'll be happy with that. But let's see what happens. That's not going to help us though. We're ten points behind. We're eleven points behind for the month now. We win this game, we um we get to like eight eight position. Pumped with the free kick. This could go in. This could no, no chance. I think the Lentins are going to crash us here by the looks of it. We're going to order some more um football shirt mystery boxes by the mystery shirt. Football mystery shirt boxes, basically. Um, so if you've got any suggestions on any companies you want me to try, let me know in the comments section. Um, I tr I'm going to try and um, do a, as many different ones as possible. Classic football shirts have got one, but I've not seen every video review I've seen of them. It's They're not very good shirts, to be honest. They're a bit rubbish. And I think because I'm a 3XL or 4XL, I think it's select. I think the selection they'll have will be even worse, so I don't think I'm going to bother with classic football shirts, especially as it's like 40 quid. And every shirt I've seen, I know you don't just get the shirt, you get other things as well, but I'm more I'm more about the shirt. I'd rather pay 10 quid less and get a better shirt, personally, um, than having all the, like, the scarf or whatever. So I might, I might try some different ones if I can, or um, try some... Try some other shirts from the companies I've used already. Go on the font. Loops it in. Oh, Kofi, come on. So we'll see. I always get excited about the mystery shirts because I like the mystery. If I wanted to buy a football shirt, I'll just buy a football shirt. It's not about that. It's about, oh, what am I going to get? I'm ordering some more fake shirts as well. Good little goal there to get an equaliser. Yeah, so I'm going to order some more fake shirts um the guy that i bought some the the ones that i did in the recent video he's managed to find like four or five football shirts in a five or six xl um two of them being england shirts from the euros which won't be too bad i have already got the gray away gray purple one whatever it is um i've already got that in a sorry pardon me a four xl um it fits me but it's a little bit tight on me so the five XL it will hopefully fit me better. Oh, what a goal by the font! Look at that, that was a great shot. But yeah, and then I've I've got some other mystery shirts from China coming. I um, mean, six XL they're fake shirts, but they're mystery shirts as well. So I might go down that route, try some different ones, all from around there. But the problem with that is that it takes a while. To get to you but if i order them at the start of this month hopefully by the end of july i should get them and then i can do some review videos for them but yeah my girlfriend's my girlfriend's not happy at the moment because she's given me when i moved into her she gave me one wardrobe for my clothes and i've already used up all the space in the wardrobe for my football shirts and i need more space <laughs> so she's not happy at the moment because i mean like women women need more space than men for their clothes because they have all sorts of different types of clothes so she's she's had to ram it ram all of her stuff in her wardrobe is this to make sure i have one and now i'm going i need more space so she's like do you have to buy all these football shirts i'm like yep <laughs> right bastion go on oh that was nearly game over then uh, Paisley's not playing very well, so we'll take him off. We'll put on. We'll give this man here, LeBron. We'll give him a run out. We'll give take off Isanga. Put on. Uh, uh, go on the font. The font's on the run here. Then did it. Then did it. Then did it. Isanga, you. Oh, that was a rubbish pass. I'm glad you're coming off now. Right, we're still winning 2-1 though, so we shouldn't panic too much. Still plenty of time. We'll get another one. 
they could get one there. That's what I'm worried about. We're not dominating them as much as I'd like us to. Uh. Right, 2-2. Two, two. We've still got time. Still got time. All right, try encouraging the players. Right, um, with that, you're coming off. Mara can come on. Who else is playing poorly? Uh, we'll leave it for now. I feel like if we take Kofi off, I feel like we're going to run the risk of not getting a winning goal here because he is our main man. It might be too late at this point. Oh, that was lucky. Come on, get the ball off him. Good, header out. Right. Uh, a draw wouldn't be the, the worst result in the world, I suppose. Who else can we take off? Uh, let's take off Langate. Oh, no, we can't. I will take off Kofi, actually. See if, let's see how Baz gets on. And then we'll take off Bastion. We'll put Mustafi in there, even though he's not a left back. Go on, Bastion. Contribute before you head off. Is he going to shoot? No. Oh, get it. Salutu with his fourth goal of the season. Three two. Can we end the game now, please? That would be nice. Amara over the top ball doesn't go to anybody. Good interception there by LeBron. Off out with the ball over the top doesn't go to anybody. We've got it though. Bluetooth, Kamara. Oh, God. Okay. Baz. Beautiful pass to Kalutu. Oh, Kalutu with his second goal of the game. Uh, Baz looks like he's injured himself, though. Nah, he's all right. All right. Game over now. We are now... I think we haven't moved. I think we were 10th at the... Yeah, I think we were 10th before this game started. So, unfortunately, the other teams above us have also won by the looks of it. Oh. Langace with a final, like a cherry on the cake there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to rest some players, which is not ideal when we've only got 27 players in the squad. Uh, last highlight of the game, good over the top of the ball there. How was that? That look, it just blasted it over. I don't know how that's a corner, but okay. Come on, let's just get this highlight done now. Boring me. Yeah, well done. You got a consolation goal. It doesn't really matter. Lafont, probably man of the match. 9.2 rating. Uh, Langace, unfortunately, is out for two weeks. We are picking up a few injuries now. Uh, Didot's out for four weeks. I forgot to mention that before we kick off. Right, let's have a look. Injuries. Uh, ah, that no, would we'll be alright. We'll be alright. Right. Next game is in six days' time, so I'll come back in a second. Right. So we're now playing um, Hong Kong. You. Um, Terry's back in the team in midfield. I think that's pretty much it. The same team. Isanga's back in there. Kalutu's playing on the left, so I thought obviously he's impressed our assistant manager. Hopefully he'll do well on the left as he did on the right. Yeah, we're now 11th. So Bordeaux obviously overtook us. Um, if we win this game, 31 points would be like 9. Would be like 5 points away from the playoff. So we've still got a chance. As long as we keep winning, there's always a chance. We just can't afford really to lose many games for the rest of the season to give us any chance. That's not going to help though when we're losing the ball like that. But Lafont gets it back. He's determined to uh, get us promoted on his own ball. Looks a bit Pinto. Diagne. 
the Epony, sorry. Terry with a beautiful pass to Lutu. Bastion, what a ball. It was a great team goal that was, but is it allowed? I don't. I think Kofi was offside. Let's see what the VAR says. Oh, no, stand corrected. Good goal. Lovely little team goal as well. That gets us up to ninth now, unless obviously we've still got to figure out whether Lorient and Bordeaux, how they get on. So they, they surprised me. So basically Bordeaux and Metz, who I said would be in the playoffs this year, surprised me hasn't. Angers, who were the favourites to win the championship, are first. So they are right in that one, but that is quite surprising. Then again, there is a lot of the season left. They might still get into the playoffs. Good save, pop out. Corner to Concarneau. Driven in. Good clearance by the admin. Just boots it out. Isangana, see what he can do. Loses the ball. That's not ideal. I think I think in, if he doesn't if he doesn't do any better, I think I might get rid of Isanga. Um he's not been very impressive this season. Actually, let, well, I'll have a look in a second. I might be completely wrong, and I might just be based on the last game or two where he keeps losing the ball. That's gone in the car park, that has. Corner Sinev. Headed out nicely. Right. Let's have a look at Izanga. I, I think it's Izanga it's pronounced, but it might be Izanga, I don't know. Uh, four assists. Uh, no goals, so 6.76, mm, he, he might be all right, I just don't think he's good enough. He is wanted as well. Actually, do you know what, I might just get rid of him in the January window. Ah, oh, that's a shame, Kalut is injured. Who do we put here at the back? Yeah, we'll put that. Uh, let's see. Okay. No, I completely pulled that off. There we go. That's what I'm meant to do. <sighs> right, 1 0 up. Force change because of injury. Hopefully, it won't hinder us too much. They seem to have had the most, the most highlights in this game. Worries me a bit, but we'll see. At the back with the ball. Playing as a wing back gets tackled though. Pomp nicks it back though. Terry gives it to Abdu. Abdu with a beautiful, I was going to say beautiful pass, but it wasn't really. But Isanga makes it work. I think we're leading to something here. Beautiful little pass and bumping into. Oh, that should have been a goal. That should have been a goal. Yeah, currently ninth. So uh, half time, not too bad. Uh, I've got a feeling they're gonna equalise in a minute. I think they've been the better team. We need to up our performance now. Lafont. Isanga sends it to the left to Labas, who gives it to Bastian now. Back to Labat, cross to Thierry, oh, look at that, it's a beautiful little passing exchange going there, that deserved a goal, that was very unfortunate. Right, free kick to us, Lafont with the cross, it's headed out, Kofi with the ball, all the way back over there, where he should be, that's it, get back in your, that's it, get back in the box where we need you. Paisley, gives it to Thierry. Cross to Abdu. Oh, that was a beautiful ball. I could see that happening a mile off. Oh, come on, Kofi. We are not taking uh, opportunities here. We need to focus, lads. Let's focus. Um, still nine, so I assume Lorient and Bordeaux are still losing their game. We've got a corner, Lafont. Headed out. Goal kick to Concarneau. I don't mind a 1-0 win. I'm happy with that. I can deal with that. Right, both our fullbacks are knackered. Do we have anybody to yeah. put you on? And then we can put you on. Oops, that. 
10 minutes to go, 1-0 up. Uh, uh, corner, Izanga floats it up. Oof. Nearly. Izanga, oh, that was a see, this is why I want to get rid of Izanga. His passing is so bad. It's going to cost us in the, oh my God, that was a risky tackle. Izanga with the ball again. I think what we need to do is instruct Izanga not to pass. Because he's absolutely terrible. Right? Just run with the ball, use your pace, but you're never allowed to pass. The back. Oh, look at that, beautiful little passing. Get in. LeBron with his third goal of the season. I assume the other goals were for, for, the, for the reserves. Yeah, first ever goal for the senior side. Yeah, 2 0, game over now. Good interception. Will they get a consolation goal? They do. Is that too little, too late? We'll soon find out. I think that's game over. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we'll see. This concerns me. We all know. Oh, no. I mean, I mean, you really didn't need to do that to pull Gary. <sighs> Right, Thierry sent off for a, a terrible lunge. Hopefully that doesn't matter. It doesn't, luckily. Another injury. Bluetooth's out for four weeks. We are definitely losing players. How many look? Let's have a look. Let's see how many players we've got. 26 players in the squad now for the next couple of games. Um, he needs to have a rest. Right, and I'll be back for the last game of the episode. It's a big game against Bordeaux. So I'll see you in a sec. Right, we're back. Um, last game of the episode. We are playing Bordeaux. Um, we have a debut for Luke Angeli because um, my assistant manager, DOF, accepted a loan offer for Izanga. Um, so he's off. He's off on loan to Le Mans for the rest of the season. So um, he has got very good potential. Um, he's not a right. He's not really a right winger. He's more of a left winger. So we'll see. He's not particularly good in this role on the right. But it is what it is. We've just got to make do with um, what we've got. So pretty much other than that, it's the same team. I think we're back in midfield for Thierry. Um, Didot's back from injury, which is good. We've missed him. He's a really good creative force for us. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many goals this trophy got for the season. Oh, Angeli. Well, that's not a good debut, is it? Already injured. God knows who I'm going to put on here. I'll have a look in a sec. Uh, who have we got that can play right wing here? No. Might, might have to be Baz. No. Yeah, Mwemba can play there. Even though he's not very good in that role, but uh, I just want to have a look at the goals trophy got for us so far. 14 games and 22 games. Hopefully he can get another 10 goals. We've still got plenty of games left, so you never know. But yeah, not the best to start. We are lacking in right wingers. It's not like we can call anybody up from our reserves and youth players because they're all in the first team now. All right, November with a skill there. Give it to Diagne. Abdu cross to Bossy. Oh. Bossy nearly were there with a beautiful pass to Kofi. Unfortunately, can't finish it this time. November loses the ball. 
Yeah, we might we might struggle against um, Bordeaux, even though they're not doing very well in the league. Let's not get it twisted. At the end of the day, they're a very good team. Ruemba though, bombs ahead on the wing, puts it across to Didot. Didot with a bit of skill to get the ball. Oh, finish was not very good. Beautiful bit of techers there by Kofi. I don't know who that was to. I think that was poor communication by Mwemba and Kofi there. I can see what they were trying to do, but the uh, yeah, they didn't do it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Paisley, come on. Let's see if VAR can come to our rescue. Is that a penalty? No penalty. Get in. Well done. I apologise, Paisley. Still nil nil. We're down to eleventh though, which which I don't understand, but yeah, okay. Um every time we win we don't seem to move that much higher up the league, which is very frustrating. But I think that's just because the other teams are just so good in this league. Everybody wants to get promoted to the big league, so it's a, a lot harder competition to um, get out of, similar to the championship in England. Right, Abdu, nice bit of passing going on here. Pinto with plenty of space. Beautiful pass. Oh, that was unfortunate there. see if the second half is better for us hopefully we can up the performance now and get a goal good little cross hopefully with a header straight to the goalkeeper after with the ball moemba cross to pinto pinto has another chance here now passes it to lebat oh that was a goal there we're getting closer. We are getting closer. Right. Did not, unfortunately, cannot play the whole game. Um, I think we're going to have to put Baz in there. Like I said, we are lacking now in squad depth. I might have to look at recalling some players from loan if I can. I'll do I'll do that next week. I don't need to do it in this episode. Coming to the end of it. We're like six points if we don't win this game, we're six points behind the playoffs. Win this game with three. Oh, yes, go on. Give us a penalty. Good, 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 good. Come on. Throw it our way. Yes. Right. Now, Kofi, please score this goal. I know you're not the best at penalties, but you've been doing all right lately. Yes, get in. Go on. Kofi. One nil. Let's see if we can keep that lead. Labat is playing poorly. Take him off. Take off Paisley as well. Uh, I think that'll do. Yeah, up to eight now. Four points behind the playoffs. Only if we win this game. If we draw this game, good save. What a shot. That was a good shot. Still got it though. Good save. Well done, Pop Uh Pinto's knackered. Take him off. No, we can't take anybody else off. That's it. Eight now. Four points behind Ajacio. Come on. I just want it to be end the game now. That's it. Game over. Good stuff. Right. That's good. 
Um, so yeah, so we end the episode. Uh, we're seventh in the league. We're four points behind the playoffs, which is a lot better than we were at the start of this episode, where I think we were like twelve or something like that. So this episode and last episode, we've managed to we've managed to completely turn it around with this new tactic, which is great. Really good to see. I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes with um, Dynamo Tilavisi and the Georgian national team as well. That all depends if the AI uh, make sure they, they, they pick Avadonna. Because for some reason on that save, every time um, I leave the AI to do a squad, they never pick him, even though he's not injured or suspended. It's really frustrating. Anyway, I'm, I'm waffling on. Thank you, as always, for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please leave a comment. I know I say it every, at the end of every episode, but it does. It does. The reason why YouTubers do it is because it helps us a lot. So we would appreciate it. But yeah, anyway, I'll be back next week with a, another So Show episode. And then tomorrow will be TW 2020 Fight Club Pro. Um, but anyway, right, I'll leave you to it. All the best.